after being hit hardest by the COVID-19. Tourism continues to not only live with the pandemic, but increasingly also try to arise from its ashes. Specific to mountaineering, a leading regional guide last week tried out the Renzori Mountain Experience as a forward step to attract more mountain enthusiasts and climbers, spinning off excursions from Mount Kenya and Mount Kilimanjaro. My previous trip on the Renzori Mountains has been quite an eye-opener. It's been incredible, um, both beauty, just the vastness of the mountain uh, and all the different mountains on that range actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a trip that I'd love to guide in the future. Mm -hmm. And I'm uh, really looking forward to working more with Renzori Trekking Service and the Ugandan Wildlife Association. There is a growing interest of foreign visitors, in especially the Renzoris, and with it, they need to enhance the capacity of the existing infrastructure besides the immediate need for vaccination of the climber support team. We have to increase on the numbers of beds in the mountain, the numbers of houses, for both the potters, the guides, and the clients, and the cooks. So this time we don't have to just let them go and sleep the way they used to sleep. Now, like for our groups here who work on mountaineering, we have organized groups of the porters and the guides who can easily be identified. And we'd love that in order for us to be able to continue with the tourism, these are the guys we should target, make sure they are fully vaccinated. And when these people come, we should know that they are fully, um, uh, they have built, they had immunity, as I've already said it, to be able to continue with business. For Julian Wright, anyone coming to climb the Renzori should not do so in a hurry if they are to have a worthwhile experience. Yeah, so my message to other visitors uh, coming to the Renzoris is plan your trip so you have lots of time so that you can really get a sense of the mountain. You can acclimatize well, which then allows you to enjoy the mountain a lot more. Um, and then plan it so that you have a nice a bit of time after your trip so that you can see some of the other national parks lower down. The fact that the airport remains open and that tourists can actually move around is one key handle that the sector must embrace to arise from the ashes.